Hey guys, this is going to be a collection of clips from Deep Hall Ravine on the War Within Beta. I'll be on my Survival Hunter. There's going to be two matches. Uh, the first one will be a win and the second one will be a loss. In the first one I do some exploration. This is how I found out you know, where the buffs are and things like that. And I'll talk a bit about the scoring. Uh, the second one's going to be a loss and with that one I'll talk a little bit about the strategy. Okay, so here we go. One of our carts is loaded up. Make sure that it reaches its destination. Welcome to the deep hall. Need to explore Ravine, a little bit friends. here. Our job today: gather as many minerals and gems as we can carry before Uzjax gets to them. To do that, we have to stick close to the mine carts and grab hold of the okay. shiny crystal in the center of the tracks. Let's get to it. This is the turn-in spot right here for the crystal. Oh, I can't let... Notice there that I wasn't able to use the cart that the other hunter used first. So the cart disappears when they go and you have to use the next cart. That's something to keep in mind when you want to do this. And we're going to shoot across the map to the other side and we are going to take their cart. We're going to flip it to our side. We are Alliance. Okay, I was marked, so I knew there was a hunter there. He opens up on me. I duck around the pillar. I feign death. He did about 2 million damage to me in the opener. Harpoon up to him. He freezing traps me. I was going to stay in it. I decide to break it. I stun him. I get a binding shot down. Explosive trap him off. He gets stunned, and he just takes uh, too much damage for myself and this other hunter. And he has to end up turtling and runs away. So our team has both carts now, and if you take a look at the points up there, they're ticking nine points a tick, which is kind of strange, because I think if you have one cart, it's only four points, but you have two carts, it ticks nine. Um, I back out of there because their whole team is there. I'm kind of in a bad place. I'm on the wrong side of the fight. So I'm moving over here to try to get back into this cart, um, but I'm not quite sure because I see all these enemy players. I'm not quite sure what to do. I decide to get on the mage. I interrupt the polymorph. Uh, this DK gets on me. Uh, I'm going to tar trap them out of this and uh, aspect the cheetah, but the DK pulls me. I try to disengage. The DK pulls me again. So I have the turtle. I have the hunter and the mage on me. I get a freedom from a friendly paladin. That's great. I get a binding shot on this monk, and I get pretty deep into the cart. I just want to make sure it caps us. So they did actually flip it to them for a little bit, but we're able to get it back. And it's just a matter of uh, hanging out in the circle here until it caps. And you'll see how many points we get when it caps. Okay, so nothing too interesting going on right now. Okay, it caps. Both cards cap at the same time, and we get 100 points per card. So we got 200 points there. Uh, they got a ton of people here, but they were all outside the circle. Um, I don't want to be in this fight anymore, so I'm trying to get out of this fight to leave. And I go up the steps to disengage and get out of that fight. Now, while all that was happening, a hunter on my team grabbed a crystal, but unfortunately he got killed and a warrior on the enemy team grabbed a crystal. So I'm hopping into a cart here to use the fast transit to get over to the other side so I can cut off and kill, hopefully, their crystal runner, the warrior. And there he is, but unfortunately there's two healers right with him. So I'm actually going to bypass them and run up and get the Berserker buff because I think I'm going to need that to help kill this warrior if he has those two healers with him. Okay, I actually want to do a breakdown of this fight because I can talk about some survival hunter things here. So I'm going to open up on him with Chakram's and Explosive Shot. It's a healer. Okay, you see that and that screech? That is the hero talent. It's coming in now, but it hasn't dropped. But it's going to put a blue circle on this uh, warrior. And what I want to do is try to keep him in that blue circle because it actually does a lot of damage. The problem is it's really easy for people to move out of it. Oh, and by the way, one of the healers left. So that was fortunate for us. So he only has one healer. Okay, I spearhead. I'm going to stun him. So I'm trying to stun him so he's still in this circle and he's taking damage from it. He's killing uh, one of our hunters. So we actually have all three of our hunters here, but he's going to kill one of our hunters. The priest goes up in ultimate penance. OK, 
Okay, I interrupt flash heal there. Uh, he's almost killed one of our hunters, but he's almost dead as well. Interrupted that. Okay, that binding shot. So I get the binding shot. This stuns the warrior and he dies. He did kill one of our hunters, but I have also stunned this priest. And this is really important because he could have AoE feared us. I have Trinket up, so that would have been fine. But worst possible situation, he AoE fears both of us. We don't have our Trinkets. And this healer grabs the crystal. See, the crystal is on the ground here. Okay, there's the crystal. This hunter is going to pick it up. I'm going to go ahead and explosive trap the healer even farther away to try to cover this for this hunter as he grabs the crystal. Okay, and he has it. That's the hunter that uh, grabbed the crystal earlier but was killed by that warrior. So he went back after that warrior to get the crystal back. Interrupted that. Okay, there is the Sentinel proc again. I want to try to keep him in there. This time I use Chimera Shot to snare him in it. Takes considerable damage. The other healer comes over to help him. So I'm just going to end up... Uh, oh, I heal myself. It's a nice heal too, if you look at it. So I heal myself. That's 2.2 million heal there. And then I just fade and I mount so I can leave. While that was happening, the hunter that picked up the crystal actually capped it. And that gave us 200 points. What's our team doing here? I see a crystal down in the mine. Grab it before Ooze Jack gets to it. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I think this video will end up being too long if I put two matches into the same video. So I'll do a separate video for the other match where we lose. And it kind of ties into what I'm doing right now. I think it is a trap to go after the cart that is moving towards the enemy base. It's hard to take that because they have GY spawn that comes right back to that location. It's always going to be better to make sure that you secure the cart that caps near your base. Not, not the cart that starts near your base, but the one that caps near your base. Now the positive thing is that while we were in that losing fight to cap that cart, the hunter from before grabbed the crystal and scored again, so he gave us another 200 points, pretty much securing the victory for us. Low damage here because I was exploring and playing objectives. Notice that the hunter that capped the crystal twice even has lower damage than me. It's always going to be the case. You play objectives, you're going to do lower damage. You stick in team fights, you're going to do more damage. I'll end up putting up the other Deepal Ravine that I have on Survival Hunter up uh, in a different video. And I also have uh, some Frost DK footage I can put up and more warrior footage. So I'll be trying to put those up over the next few days. That's it for this one though. Take care.